So, so did you noted everyone, uh, what is the new GL concept, document splitting, parallel accounting and all. Did you note it? Yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, now our first target is, somebody send me, sir. Sir. One second, everyone. Yeah. So, everyone. Before going to start the class, so I'm I'm came in my hometown, everyone. Some disturbances will come in this week, so please don't mind. Okay. Um, can you please note it down these configuration steps, everyone? Later I will explain. Note it down these configuration steps, controlling area configuration steps. Note it down. First, write configuration steps, and later I can explain. Note it down, everyone. Controlling area, maintain controlling area, configuration steps. Then everyone, are you writing? Yes, no. Don't write the path, okay? Just write heading and the subheadings. Are you writing? Yes, no, okay, please. Please yes, respond. Yes, 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 please. First you can write, I will explain, okay? Done, sir. Remaining, you can write this profit center. Put the heading of profit center and note it down.
Done, done, everyone. Yes, sir. Do we need to write the path also for profit center, or is it okay? Sir, no, sir. Every time I am telling, na sir, don't write path, sir, please. Okay, sir. Uh, can you just uh, page up uh, basic settings, assignment of company codes, and then third one was. Yes. Sir, control indicators. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, once can you show the control in area one? Guys, please note it down fast, everyone. Done. Noted. Yes. Yes, sir. Done, sir. Yes, sir. So, everyone. Now you people want to try to understand what is meant by profit center. Okay. So people want to understand what is meant by profit center. If you want to do the profit center, why we have to do some basic setting of controlling area. What is mean by profit center is the target everyone and how you can configure why, what, when, blah, 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 XYZ. Your target is to understand profit center, right? To understand everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Profit center. Profit center. Everyone, listen, listen careful, everyone, listen careful. And company code. Company code. So everyone concentrate here. What is the difference between company code and profit center? Everyone listen careful. Listen. Company code wise. Company code wise. We will generate the financial statement. Company code wise. We will generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose. For, for what purpose this? For external reporting purpose. Report to the government. Report to the respective government. Company code wise, we will generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose. We want to report to the our respective governments. My dear students, same to same way. Same to same way. Here in this profit center, profit center wise also, profit center wise also, we will generate the financial statements. Profit center wise also, we will generate the financial statement. For internal reporting purpose, we can report our management for internal reporting purpose. Reporting purpose. We can report our management. Everyone, you can catch the point here. You can catch the point here. You can create the profit center business area wise and segment wise. Product wise, area wise, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. For example, for example, everyone, concentrate here. For example, if I create the profit center business area wise, how many business areas I have? 
example I, how many business areas i have i have hyderabad business area bengaluru business area pune business area and mumbai business area mumbai business area so business area wise i created profit center here pc1 profit center 1 and pc2 and pc3 and pc4 so what happened here i created example i created business area wise profit center business area wise profit center it means what you people want to understand here business area wise we are going to generate financial statement it means in hyderabad business area how much my assets how much my liabilities how much my incomes how much my expenses we can report to our internal uh, management for example in the bangalore bangalore how much my incomes how much my expenses how much my assets how much my liabilities and pune wise pune wise how much my expenses how much my incomes how much uh, and uh, mumbai wise my how much expenses income assets liabilities so profit center may create business area wise profit center may create segment wise profit center may create departmental wise so it means that wise we will generate the reports for internal reporting purpose for example i can create profit center for segment wise it means segment wise we will generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose i can create profit center for uh, you know departmental wise it means departmental wise we are going to generate the financial statements for internal reporting purpose financial statement means what what is in the financial statement financial statement means we can identify how much our expenses how much our incomes how much our liabilities how much my assets and all so business area wise how much my assets how much my liabilities how much my incomes and how much my expenses so my dear students here for example here you are the deloitte consultant you are implementing rm group of company so you can ask your client at what level you want to generate financial statement for internal reporting purpose for internal analysis purpose what level you are going to analyze the reports that level you can create the profit center everyone are you following everyone what i am telling yes no yes sir yes for example everyone for company code wise also we will generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose that is an a legal entity actually that is an a legal entity this is called internal reporting purpose our management want to understand i have this many business areas each business area how much expenses how much incomes how much assets how much liabilities otherwise i have this many segments each segment wise how much expenses how much incomes how much liabilities like that i have this many product each product wise i want to generate the reports each departmental wise i want to generate the reports so you can ask your client at what level you want to analyze the report that level you can create the profit center profit center wise we will generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose clear clear so far yes no yes sir yes sir and here you can you please note it on this point everyone uh, you try to understand everyone to try to understand here guys let's see my screen are you able to see my screen everyone are you able to yes, see my yes, screen sir. 
So what is meant by profit center? What is meant by profit center? Profit center is an internal area of the company mainly for the management oriented reporting purpose. For what purpose for profit center? Management oriented reporting purpose. It just like its word of revenues, expenses. This is profit center is one of the advantages of new GL concept can be create its own balance sheet and profit and loss account. Balance sheet and profit and loss account means and uh, it is an a expenses, incomes, assets and liabilities like that. Every profit center assigned to controlling area. Profit center display value of GLs. What is meant by GL it will come. The last point you can observe everyone. Last point you can observe. Profit center can be defined at product level, regional level, functional level, business area level, segment level, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. At what level you are creating profit center, that level we are going to generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose. Better, can you please note it down this, everyone? Note it down this. Note it down this. Are you writing? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Done, everyone. Completed. All right. Sir. Done now. Please note it on fast, everyone. Yeah, done, Venkat. Done, sir. Done. So, everyone, here you can observe one point, everyone. Let's uh, see here. For example, for example, let's take one group of company. And this group of company, 
they created two business areas everyone for one business area they will uh, deal with the vehicles and one more business area they will deal with the spare parts and uh, these uh, vehicles and we they can manufacture like uh, cars bikes van and trucks like that and each product wise they can create the profit center car one profit center bike vans and all and they uh, designed it to two segments for example in segment one they can uh, deal with the cars and bikes segment two they can deal with the vans and trucks so like that they can design same way our company also same now like we have uh, two segments i mean four segment we do ppp segment opp segment steel sheet segment steel rod segment like that and even we have hyderabad business area mumbai business area segment business area and all in our case everyone in our case noted in our case in the profit center we are going to create segment wise example in the profit center we are going to create in the segment wise it means segment wise we are going to generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose internal reporting purpose note it on one note everyone note it on one note for your understanding purpose so now my target is sir now you are explaining now you are explaining profit center then why controlling area why why controlling area note it on one note everyone controlling area is controlling area is highest hierarchy in the co then here you want to raise one question sir we are discussing fi but controlling area is the co then why you are telling now here this question you want to raise i will tell you answer note it down everyone note it down before before ecc 6.0 version before ecc 6.0 version profit center is belongs to co profit center is belongs to co from ecc 6.0 version onwards from ecc 6.0 version onwards profit center profit center is one of the objective in new gl concept everyone listen careful don't write everyone listen first now so this profit center originally belongs to co everyone originally belongs to co and from ecc 6.0 version onwards so this profit center now in uh, new gl concept it's copied into new gl concept everyone so this is the reason note it down note it down everyone this is the reason next line next line note it down next line this is the reason every profit center will assign to controlling area 
every profit center will assign to controlling area. It means, it means it means first we can set up controlling area first we can set up controlling area under controlling area under controlling area we can do profit center activities Uh, guys, can anyone please read the note? Remaining people check it out. Just note whatever said, you know. Yes, and, sir. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, con note controlling area is the highest hierarchy in CO. Before ECC 6.0 version, profit center belongs to CO. From ECC 6.0 version onwards, Profit Center is one of the object in new GL concepts. This is the reason every Profit Center will be assigned to controlling area. It means first we can set up the controlling area. Under controlling area, we can do Profit Center activities. Everyone. So here, thank you ma'am. Here you can catch one point everyone. I am repeating once again. Controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. Company code is highest hierarchy in the FI. Then why, why now we are doing controlling area configuration means if you want to do profit center objectives, first you have to set up controlling area. Under the controlling area, you need to set up the profit center. Otherwise, controlling area not required now. It will come on the CO actually. Okay, from old version, profit center is belongs to CO. ECC 6.0 version onwards, profit center is one of the objective in the new GL concept. If you want to do in profit center, first you have to set up controlling area. Under the controlling area, then you have to set up in the profit center activity. So profit center may create business area wise, segment wise, then blah, 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 X, Y, Z wise. Profit center wise, we will generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose. Company code wise also, we are going to generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose, reporting into the uh, government. Company code is a legal entity. Profit center just designed for the reporting purpose, internal reporting purpose, management oriented reporting purpose. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Okay. What I am telling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So, very good, everyone. So, first, what we will do? First, what we will do, everyone? Uh, what you, you, what you people want to observe? First, what we people want to observe? First, you people want to observe how to set up controlling area. How to set up controlling area. Next, what you people observe? How to configure? How to configure profit center? And next, what you people want to observe? How to create profit center? Next, what you people want to observe? How to post document entries? Means during the document entry posting, 
how you are going to select on profit center. How we select profit center on document entry. Later, how you generate the reports. How you generate the reports. So these many activities you want to observe. Observation one, how to create controlling area. Observation two, how to configure for profit center. Observation three, how to create profit center. Observation four, during the accounting entry posting, how the profit center is updating. Observation five, how we are going to generate the reports for internal reporting purpose. Clear, clear so far, yes, no, okay. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. So, observation one. How to create controlling area? How to create controlling area? So, my dear students, concentrated everyone. How to create controlling area? How to create controlling area? So, this is the path everyone. SPRO, controlling, general controlling organization maintain controlling area otherwise directly you can go to okkp this is the t code either you can go to okkp either you can go to this path whatever you want okay let's go through that open sap everyone observe everyone carefully you can observe is in the class with help of practice material let's do the practice okay Uh, Devan join us. Uh, somebody Deva something. No, sir. I was from the beginning of it. Are you following, my dear friend? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What about uh, uh, some other? Prabhu, Prabhu, are you following? Prabhu? Yes, yes, sir. Following. Following, yeah. No questions, right? Yes, sir. No, sir. Somebody join Shuri. Who is Shuri? What is your full name? Uh, sir, Ramanujan. Ramanujan. You join two devices, mm -hmm. sir? No, no, sir. One. Mobile. Okay. Please rename it. Okay. So, everyone, concentrate, everyone. First thing, how to create controlling area. Everyone, for controlling area information, more and more information about controlling area, I will tell you during the CVO, everyone. During the CVO, I will tell you more and more information about controlling area. Now, it's not required, everyone. Okay. Just you can observe. Just for your understanding purpose, I will tell you some few words, everyone. Controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CVO. Whatever objectives you can do in the CVO, Right, are you there? Are you able to hear my voice? Yes, no, okay. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, my dear students, my dear students, concentrate here. Controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. Okay. And uh, uh, if you do any activity in the CO, directly or indirectly assigned with the controlling area. Even uh, in FI, FI, company code is the highest hierarchy. Whatever activity you do in FI, directly or indirectly, like linked with the company code. They are linked with the controlling area. So even profit center also, in the previously, it is one of the objective in the CO. If you want to do profit center activity, first you have to set up controlling area. So some more information about controlling area, we will discuss. Uh, we will discuss on uh, CO. Guys, don't send messages, everyone. It's disturbing my mind. Um, so uh, it is, uh, you know, <laughs> for example, first you have to set up controlling area. Under the controlling area, you have to set up like, you know, uh, profit center configuration and all. Profit center and all. One second. Sorry, everyone. So how to set up controlling area? So my target is and uh, how to set up controlling area, configuration of profit center, how to create profit center, how to select profit center during the accounting entries, how to generate the reports. This is our targets. OK, let's set up configuration. Let's set up configuration, everyone. How to set up the configuration? OK. So controlling area configuration. Let's do that. Ramanjan, don't write anything on screen. Please end the class. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Now I want to set up controlling area. So how you can go to SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG, here select here, example controlling, general controlling, organization, here, this one, everyone. Maintain controlling area. In case if you want to see the T code, go to additional information, additional information, display activities and uh, whatever t code will come now everyone you just double click on maintain controlling area double click on maintain controlling area and double click on maintain controlling area again and click on here okay it's a warning message you can ignore it so my dear students concentrate here so here we have to do this three step settings, everyone. I'm repeating once again for my satisfaction. I'm repeating once again. Double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Double click on maintain controlling area. And click on here, okay. Click on here, okay. 
and here that is yellow means warning message you can ignore it so here we want to set up uh, these three settings everyone one is basic settings one is assigned to your company code one is activate components or controlling indicators okay so these three settings we have to do first one basic settings click on your new entry click on your new entry then set up here any four digit and write the description set up here any four digit and uh, write the description and uh, my four digit is example rm uh, ca what is that rm controlling area press enter everyone concentrate here set up here any four digit and write the description here everyone here controlling area company code i mean cross company code controlling area here if you select controlling area same as company code if you select a controlling area same as company code here you can browse it everyone here you can browse it only one currency will going to update here only one currency will going to update for example if you select cross company code controlling area here in the currency type you can browse it here multiple currencies will come in case if it is there one second if you want to come press enter make command is click on your browse okay here uh, only one company code is showing no problem for example everyone what is the target of this what is the target of these settings everyone you can observe everyone what is the target of these settings this setting is for example if i select controlling area same as a company code controlling area same as a company code this controlling area you can assign only one company code only one company code if you select cross company code cost accounting this controlling area you may assign multiple company codes for example i have two company codes i have two company codes it means i am going to us i am going to take cross company code controlling area in case i have only one company code then you can select controlling area same as okay so i am selecting cross company code in some system here it will shows multiple currencies even it shows one currency also no problem selecting company code currency and company code currency is called my company code currency inr what is your chart of accounts everyone we created chart of accounts na rm oc what is your physical year variant r something is there na rm something r2 maybe rm april to march four special periods then controlling area standard hierarchy set up here any name everyone set up here any name what is your name set up here any name for your control i mean cost center purpose what is meant by cost center it will come later now we are discussing profit center cost center is different profit center Uh, are you there everyone are you able to hear my voice yes sir yes sir so he, here you can set up any na any name everyone for the cost center purpose what is mean by cost center why cost center it will come later everyone meanwhile you can set up here any name everyone rm uh, ca underscore cost okay press enter and yes yes save i'm repeating one second everyone i'm repeating one second for the basic setting set up here any four digit and write the description select here cross company code cost accounting means this controlling area i can assign multiple company codes if you select uh, controlling area same as a company code 
means it this controlling area is possible to assign only one company code then i am selecting cross company code then here currency 10 company code currency then currency inr then this is my my chart of accounts my physical year then set up here any name for the disk set up here any name for the cost accounting purpose what is mean by cost centers it will come later everyone press center then save everyone concentrate here now double click on company code assignment double click on company code assignment yes click on your new entry what is your company codes everyone rm double one enter rm one two enter then save save It's browsing everyone means we are uh, assigning our company code to controlling area click on your save everyone here you can catch one point everyone here you can catch one point example everyone example everyone you can catch one point everyone for example Here you can catch one point, everyone. I will tell you very important thing. Uh, company code is belongs to F5. Company code is belongs to F5. Controlling area. Controlling area belongs to CO. So now what you are doing? Company code is highest hierarchy in the F5. Controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. So now what you are doing? We are assigning we are assigning our company code to controlling area it means we are assigning or we are mapping we are integrating f5 and co f5 and co Con company code is highest hierarchy in the f5 controlling area is highest hierarchy in the co so now we are mapping or assigning company code to controlling area it means we are assigning or we are integrating F5 and CO. Are you understood everyone? What is our object to here? Yes, no? Yes, sir. So it's browsing everyone. Is any uh, disturbance everyone? Any voice is breaking something? No sir. no, sir. No, sir. So basically, I came hometown for casting the vote. So I connected some mobile, uh, uh, this one, data, something. So that is, this week, uh, some disturbances, everyone, if you don't mind. Okay. Some internet and all. And click on here. Okay. The next one. Activate components, everyone. Activate components. Click on your new entry. Activate components. So what is your current physical year? 2024. Current physical year is 2024. Then what is here? You can activate all the components, whatever you want. For example, now in, in now onwards, I can selecting activating cost center for example activating cost center activating activity type this is all our co objectives everyone co related things in the co whatever things you have to do that things you can activate okay so you can activate okay like this you can activate everyone click on here save click on here save like that
it's browsing everyone. I don't know suddenly. <laughs> yeah click on here okay so my dear students i'm i'm repeating once again i'm repeating once again for my satisfaction i'm repeating once again in the basic settings everyone concentrate here concentrate it everyone are able to hear my voice are able to see my screen yes no okay yes sir yes, yes. sir i'm repeating once again for my satisfaction so i'm set up here we are set up controlling area under the controlling area we can start our profit center configuration how to create controlling area set up here any four digit and write the description here you can take cross company code cost accounting currency type 10 10 means company code currency here control i mean currency inr here you can give your chart of accounts physical year set up here any name for cost accounting purpose and double click on assign company codes here we can click on your new entry then here you can assign your company codes then double click on activate components here whatever components you want you can activate this all are co related objectives click on here save and back click on here save and back okay the next one next one everyone sir here you want to ask one thing here you want to ask one thing sir you are activating co related objectives then how you can activate how you can activate profit center how you can activate profit center everyone here you can observe everyone activate profit center accounting activate profit center accounting activate controlling area so whatever controlling area you created now that thing you want to activate whatever uh, uh, profit center you have to do now you have to do profit center configuration means you need to activate profit center accounting here you have to do okay so so everyone what is my target here my target is first one activate controlling area whatever controlling area you created that controlling area you have to activate so how to activate what is the t code t code is called okks either you can go to through path also sap menu accounting financial accounting general ledger master records profit center set controlling area set controlling area either you can go this path either you can go this t code as your wish to activate controlling area activate controlling area so how we can activate everyone very simple everyone very simple and uh, here sap menu i'm going through path for your understanding purpose otherwise to go to through t code also and what is that okay ks what is the t code everyone T code OKKS. Press enter, enter, then give it here your controlling area. What is your controlling area? And guys, don't open the servers, everyone. That is the reason it will going to delay. Okay, don't open server. Listen the class. Practice you can do later. Write the notes. Listen the class. What? For example, if you go to movie, we don't want to write anything. After the movie, we can remember everything. Why? Why means we can concentratedly watch the movie. That is the reason we can remember everything. Same to same way, everyone. Listen the class carefully with the concentration. Then you can automatically understood everyone. You can automatically remember. Later, you can practice with the help of practice material. Okay. How I can activate everyone? I'm repeating once again. Activate controlling area. Go to OKKS, 
press enter give it here your controlling area what is our controlling area just now we created rmca just now we created rmca press enter sir i am unable to remember rmca what can i do i am unable to remember that four digit what can i do no problem everyone click on your browse and select here your controlling area what is our controlling area rm 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 something will there na rm something mm, here here rmca rm controlling area rm controlling area select this click on here okay that's it that's it everyone i'm repeating once again go to okks press enter give it here your controlling area click on here okay that's it it will back to sap easy access screen active automatically the next one next one is activate profit center accounting activate profit center accounting so how you can going to activate very simple everyone how you are going to activate so this is the path everyone spro financial accounting general ledger accounting master record profit center activate profit center accounting so how you can activate profit center accounting very simple everyone go to spro enter sap reference img select here financial accounting general ledger accounting master records profit center here activate profit center accounting so you just double click on this execute button double click on this execute button click on your position what is your controlling area rmca so this is my controlling area this is my financial year click on here activate here here activate so just click on this radio button and save click on here save next one any questions any questions everyone questions please questions please no questions questions next two steps configuration last two steps configuration later create profit center very simple everyone what i did now what i did for so i created controlling area then i activated profit center accounting later i can configure profit center configuration later i can create profit center clear clear everyone are you following yes no okay yes sir following yes sir yes, sir. yes. Yes, so remaining things we'll discuss tomorrow okay now if we tell now you pick up people who are getting overload okay clear clear everyone can you discuss tomorrow yes sir yes okay okay thank you everyone bye everyone thank you sir thank you sir